Hey guys, what's up? So I'm continuing to bash through these uh, third row positions. You open with something, your opponent responds, now what? Uh, something we should all know but don't, and I find myself guilty of making errors, uh, not really fully understanding the positions all the time. So last time we looked at what do we do when we make a point and the opponent makes a point. This time we're going to do what do we do when we make a point and opponent runs. There are not that many of them. But I think last time the video was too long um, and uh, this time we're purely just going to look at the interesting ones that aren't obvious. I'm not going to go, you know, what do you do with double six and so on uh, and go through them all um, one by one. So three, one, six, five. We make the five point opponent runs with a six, five. Let's go through the interesting ones. Now, if we roll six, five, I think all my life I've been just running with this and I found out it's wrong. Um, and it makes sense thematically. Um, um, we're actually like, basically it's a level race because we're down seven pips before the roll uh, and we roll six, five is 11, we're up four, so it's a very close race and we got the stronger board and he's got a stacked ugly structure. So it's right just to um, play 18 and eight. Uh, we're gonna see the equities now. Running would be an error here. Um, I thought, yeah, so it's almost an error, 0.016. So it's better just to play this. And then obviously, if it's right for the 6.5 to play like this, uh, for the 6.4, 6.3, 6.2, um, it's also going to be right to come out and split rather than run all the way. Um, uh, just seeking contact, you've got the stronger board, you haven't really got a race lead, kind of makes sense. Um, so how about... I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my notes because I've taken some notes this time. I've come prepared just so we can go through the interesting one. Um, how do we play 5-3? Uh, it's 6-5-3-1, yeah. So how do we play 5-3 here? Um, we don't go for the 3-point giving up the 8, um, but we play to the 21 and 8. Seeking contact again, keeping all the checkers uh, connected. Look, searching for advanced tech, unstacking the 13. Kind of makes sense not to be tempted to make the, the three point. In fact, the three point is the third best play. It's much worse than bringing two down even. But the clearly correct play is, uh, I can just go like this. Uh, just looks pretty as well, doesn't it? Um, how about a 5-2? Uh, what would you do with a 5-2 here? Have a think. Um, yeah, well, I think well the five is obviously coming down, and whether we play to the eight or the uh, the twenty two is pick 'em. One sort of splits puts pressure on the midpoint. It comes down, blocks with more split. The other one uh, to play a more containing game. If he rolls six two or six three, or look to make the bar, but there's nothing in this. Um, so the four three. Um, I think it's right to play to the 20 here and the 10 rather than 21 and, and um, 9. If you play to the 21, I think you're kind of giving him uh, good fours. You know, there's some case here that his fours, well, 4 2 double fours, not too bad, but all the other fours aren't really great for him once you made the five point. So it's better often it's right not to step up to the 20, but to step to the 21. But here, uh, well, they're pretty close anyway. They're pretty close. Don't have to beat yourself uh, too much. Uh, how about a 3-1? Um, yeah. This is quite an interesting one. What would you do here? So would you play 10 and 5 or 23 and 10? So the, the t we come down with a three, or, or 21 and five. I'm not sure, they seem really close to me. Go full out to contain that back checker, or really work to... Um... Yeah, you see that pick him as well. Nothing in this one. Two different game plans. Um, how about double two? What would you do here? I'll give you a second to think. I think there's no need to uh, 
get split or anchor, it's better just to make the 11 and 4. And often the 11's not that great when, when you have the 5 point made already. But here, all those points make it really hard unless your opponent rolls a 6-5 for him to escape. And then he can't attack you or anything. So this is clear. Uh, I don't think it's that easy a play to find. Um, I may have made mistakes here playing, I don't know, 4 point and 22 or something, but it also stops him from skipping over you. Um, okay, so that's all the all the difficult ones for the 3165. Now, what about if he rolls 3164? It's the only one, other one we have to look at because 3163 and 3162 he would split rather than run, and we're just looking at points followed by run today. Nice quick study session. See if we sort of learn some concepts as well. So they're all the same as after the 3165 uh, that we just went through, except for these exceptions. Obviously, where you can hit or something. Um, 6 2, so we can hit. Uh, obviously, we're going to hit with the 2. What do we do with the 6? Well, it's right just to come into the 5, I think, rather than play 21 18, giving him a good 6 from the bar. Uh, it's non obvious to me. I think this is when you have to know. No fly shots, brings another man into the zone. So I think the thing is, after he's rolled 6 5 or 6 4, it seems like. There's no particular rush to split. It's not like he's made a point of threatening to make a point in board. So the key theme here is you haven't really got a big race lead. Well, you do after you hit, but there's no need to, to hit and, and come out. I mean, it's not that that uh, um, uh, big a deal, but still better just to come in quietly. Uh, how about a 5-4 here? Um yeah, I mean, uh, we're not we're not going to hit or anything. It's just twenty and eight is normal by a mile, um, and the three one. It was close. Remember last time after a six three one six five. We're here the three one. It's right to play twenty one and five rather than twenty three and ten, um, and I guess it puts more pressure on on that blot on the eleven to escape. He's not fully escaped with a on the midpoint yet, um, on his fourteen point rather or eleven. Uh, that I'm circling here. So you make the, the split and diversify by playing 6 to 5. Let's see if that's right. Yeah, but only 0.008 is pretty close again between 23 and 10. So how about after, instead of um, us making a 4 1 on 3 1 on the opening, we roll a 4 2 and make the point. Uh, and again, he runs with 6 5. Um, I think it's basically all the same as 3 1 6 5 except these differences. Uh, let's go through them. 5-2. Uh, um, here, uh, the 11 and, eight, 11 and 8 is clear, I think. Um, I guess we don't want to step up to the 22, giving him a good 3. We just blocked his 3s here. If we step up to the 22, see here, 11 and 8 is clear to bring 2 down, whereas uh, when we roll a 3-1, um, um, it's pick them. I mean, split and, and 11 and 8. So maybe just for ease of mind, we can always play two down. It's easier to remember after we make a point and he runs. Just bring two down, 11 and 8. 4-2. Um, Obviously, the, after 3-1, we can just make the four point. But here, what do we do? Um, um, Do you bring two down or, or one down and split? Probably you don't want to split to the 20 here, giving him a good three because we just made the four point like we just discussed. So I think it's either, oh, it's, no, we do. So even though it gives him a good three, uh, I guess you only get hit with a six, four. Um, bringing two down is too aggressive and 22 and nine, that also gives him a good three and it's just not as good. So here it contains him more coming down to the 11 as well. If he skips out with six two or six three, we've got extra shots. If we come out to the, the if we come down to the nine point, he either hits us or skips past. We've only got a single shot, so this play um, it's pretty clear, balanced game. Um, yeah, what about two one? Um, I think here eleven and five, slowing the five points, try and make that kind of prime in front of him. And splitting to the 23 is pick'em. No big deal either way. 
Um, yeah, pick them. Double four, we just come up and down like we do so often in the openings. Don't be seduced uh, into making the five point. I know we didn't mind staying back with the, the on the 24 point with a lot of other shots, say after 3 1, 6 5 here. 20 and 9 so strong compared to just making the wreck. Um, and the double three, often in the openings we want to come up and down or some kind of balanced game like up and make a point. But here, double three, we just make the point. And I think. It puts so much pressure on opponent to, when he escapes that one. He's risking death when he gets hit. And also so many roles for him leave fly shots or direct shots. Um, you know, when he escapes it, we just make the board, it's blow out. Uh, so that's all of those. How about uh, the responses after we roll a 5-3? We make the 3-point and he rolls a 6-5 running. It's all the same as if 3-1-6-5 um, except 6-5. Remember, after the 3-1, we want the contact. We play 18 and 8. Here, uh, we just run. I guess our board's not as good. We don't want to play for the contact game. And also, when we roll 5-3 as opposed to 3-1 on the opening roll, it's a few extra pips um, in the race. So now 6-5 puts us 8 pips up. We are winning the race with him on roll. Um, so it's clear just to run with the 6-5. 5-2 is the same, 2 down. Uh, that was a tricky one. Double four and double three are the only other ones that are interesting. Um, so double four instead of two up, two down. Um, I think we're supposed to make the 20 and the four point after double four. I guess the 20 is so strong. Uh, make the four point puts pressure. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, 20 and four point. And double three. Um, I think it's 21 and, and, and uh, five point as opposed to up and down. We've already we can't make the three point, we've already made that. Um, so I think it's the same as a double four up and make the point 21 and five. Um, yeah, uh, okay. After we make the two points, say we roll a 6-4 on the opening roll, decide to uh, make the two point rather than split or run. Uh, sort of gammonish player, they're very close for money anyway, and now our opponent runs correctly with a 6-5. Um, it's the same as after 5-3-6-5, with these exceptions. 5-2, um, instead of bringing two down, I think we play to the 8 and 22. And I guess we're not really priming once we made the two point because the two and eight aren't connected. So we don't want to play a priming game. <clears throat> um, and it's more pips in the race after six, four. So we just split and start get running uh, after six, four, five, two. You think you want to go for the blitz and bring men into the zone and all that. It's just not right. <clears throat> um, not obvious, but you want to split here. Um, double three is quite difficult. Um, no, it's not. You just make the 21 and 5. And the only other one that's different is double 1. It's pretty obvious. Uh, you make the 5 point and switch. Uh, that's clear. What about after um, we roll a 6 1? Obviously, we can't look at the 6 5 uh, for opponent because he can't run his block, but 6 4 he does run. What do we do after 6 1? Um, 6 4. Um, so six one, I made a mistake with this one. I've always played seven and, and twenty three, uh, but believe it or not, the right idea is uh, to slot the five. Thirteen seven six five. I guess some of his fours are good anyway. Four two double four five four four three, big duplication and three one double two. All the hitting numbers um, are massively duped, and again. I guess no rush to really split when he's not made an innable point or threatening to really make one. So this is nice. Uh, it's a good, pretty position from the computer. The same with the five, same idea with the five one. Instead of eight and twenty three, um, we we slot we slot the five. Um, let's just have a look at that. Yeah. But 4-1, we don't do it. 
four and we just play nine and twenty three. It's too big, I guess, to play nine and, and, and five, leaving two blots. Let's just have a look at that. No, we do. Well, let's pick them. Really close. In fact, 9 and 23 is pretty horrible. That's an error. Any other play with a 4-1. So we can just remember it's probably easier. It's 13, 9, 6, 5. Same as after 6, 1 and 5, 1. Uh, two up from the back is basically pick them. Um, yeah, that's a good one. 6, 1, 6, 4, 4, 1. Um, 5, 3. We don't make the 3 point. We just play 21 and 8. Let's have a look at that. Same with a 4-3. No, 4-3. It's too loose to play. Um, yeah, 21 and 8. Back point over 11. 4-3. Uh, it's a bit loose to play to the 9 and, and 21. So it's, it's one of those ones where the double up's right. It puts a lot of pressure on that block on the 14. Um kind of intuitive to bring two up here as well and double three um, double three is not easy you know because there's so many options 21 and 5 21 and 3 21 and 10 uh, yeah they're close with the 4-3 play actually but, you know it's pretty close the double three I think it's right just to make the board uh, the 5 and the 3 point same principle as the other ones, put pressure on the loose block. He's got a safety of block. You've got instant board. Three point board plus a seven point. It's pretty strong. I mean, it's pretty close, you know. 008, but still, this is kind of ugly. With five on the six point. This just looks pretty. Um, okay, that's all the six ones. You see, we're racing through them. Um, just looking at the interesting ones. All right, so after six one. Uh, six three. So your opponent correctly runs just six. It's all the same as after six one six four. So say like six, let's have just just check if we roll like a six one. It's going to be uh, seven and five. Exactly. They're all the same. I think as after six four run. Um, I think double three is the only exception because we can hit instead of. I mean, obviously something like two one we're going to hit. Um, yeah, they're pick them, they're pick them, 23 and 7. But you can play them all the same, easy for memory. Uh, the double 3, we're going to make the 10 point and the 3 point, um, not the 5 point. Just makes another point, leaves your builders, uh, you know, um, nicely distributed. I think that's kind of uh, intuitive, there's no, no need to, to run. Um, and then what about after 6-2 run? Uh, it's all the same as after 6-1, 6-4. Um, except for 3-2. Um, so after the 6-2 or 6-3, you could hit. Here you can't. Um, so it's right to make the four point. Uh, it's a good point in board. If he hits, he's going to be leaving blots everywhere. Unstacks your six point. There's no real other alternative. I guess you could play two up at the back. But yeah, the six points, uh, four points pretty clear. Um, in fact, that's all of them. That's all the plays after the correct responses after you make a point. We've only been going 20, 20 minutes. It's not really long enough for a blog. I've got to give you a bit more value, work a bit harder, and I've got some spare time. The only other ones I've looked at that I could go through. Um, is uh, I guess we're doing races, so we've done, what do we do after we make a point, they make a point, we make a point, they run, how about just run a runner? So maybe the way to do it is, say we roll a 6-5 to start, um, we can go through all the responses, all the third rolls after we start with an opening 6-5, so basically running sequences. Um, so let's start with after 6565. Five. Um, where's this other checker gone? Uh, 
it should be on the midpoint. So we both roll 6-5. Um, and I think I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, you know, like, I'm not going to say, what do you do with a 3-1 here? Uh, let's just do the interesting ones. 5-4, it's right to run, but really marginal between uh, running and two down. I think it's like super close. Um, but the theme is just to run. Uh, I guess 3-1, you're duplicating a 3-1, double 3 is good anyway. Not a big deal whether to bring 2 down or run. It's, it's, it's 0 .007, it's not nothing. No, just just run, it's thematic, you're winning the race. Um, so 5-1, five, uh, five, we don't slot now. It's obvious to, to just... Um, well, it's not obvious because... The other player's just running all the way out to the 18, like thematic, but then you, you get hit too much. So just come down to the 8. You don't think about slotting. You just um, make the kind of ugly, ugly play that looks unnatural, 24 to 23, like a beginner. Only one blot and stops your 6s coming out, but gives you 5s. I mean, it just doesn't... Anyway, there's no other play, basically. It's not that we love doing that, but with 5-1, you got to do it after 6-5, six, 6-5. Five, six, five. So 4-3 and 3-2, they're close, um, but it's right just to bring two down, whether you roll a 4-3 or a 3-2, I think both of them are close, um, but work really hard to contain the back checker, unstacks your midpoint, um, if you step up with a 3 or 4, generally found it's not a good idea to step up when you've only got one man back, it's good if you can run into his outer board because you might get missed. But basically, you'd think when you, you kind of like, I always thought you want to step up because it gets you closer to home and, you know, you're playing a racing game. But actually, it just like kind of lets him back in by attacking you. So there's really no rush to step up. I mean, it's an error here, 21 and 9. I'm not sure many people would get this right over the board with a 4-3 to play two down. I think many, many people would do this or this or even this. Uh... It doesn't feel natural once you've escaped a, a checker to leave two blots, but, but it's right. I guess you get loads of returns if you're hit. Same with a 3-2, just bring two down. But we don't, basically you don't really step up uh, when you've only got one man back. Just wait for, for better days. Maybe you roll a 6-5 or a double or escape cleanly or all the way into the outer board. 2-1, um, it's Pickham. All the plays, whether it's like a, after an opening 6-5 or, um, uh, you know, whether you play 11-5 and five or 24-21 or um, any any play really, uh, I think is okay here. Not a big deal. All the doubles play themselves, let's just have a look. Um, yeah, all the plays are really close. Double three, what would you do here? Um, 13 and 10's, no, 10 and three point, pretty clear. Yeah, it makes sense. No shots, you're winning the race. I mean, you don't leave the blot on the eight, this is good enough. Yeah, we'd like to make the board, but this is loads of points everywhere, seems natural. And the double one, um, is pick them between, so it doesn't like leaving blots in the out, except for 4 3 and 3 2. Um, whether you make the 7 and 5 or, or make the 5 and 22, it's very close here. Um, yeah. The pick them. Okay. So if we roll a 6 5 on the first go, we've done 6 5. What about 6 4? Um, So if the opponent rolls, we're going to go through all the numbers after we roll a 6-5. So if we roll a 6-5, only the correct ones are the, you know, what they're supposed to do. So 6-4, um, opponent makes the, uh, the two-point. Just a very quick diversion. I was watching a, some kind of, I think a match from Malta with um, uh, Sebastian Wilkinson had the 6-4 to play. After a 6-5, uh, say you're facing black, let's just move it around. Um, and he took for eight, eight. First he, he went to make the two point, then he took it back and he dithered, 
took for, forever, not forever, but a good 30 seconds, and it was a seven-point match, and White was winning 2-0. Um, so he was he was leading 2-0. So Black's winning 2-0 in this spot. Uh, and he thought forever, and he played 18-9, and nine, and sure enough, the match score adjustment made it pick him. So basically the right idea, how he adjusted, uh, not making the two-point, um, I guess trying to save more gammons. You see how close they are? So he made a, you know, really thinking sort of um, match point adjustment, not just the automatic. Make the deuce point, uh, but here we play, we're looking at all these for money. Uh, you can make the adjustments yourself as you like. So six, five, six, four, uh, he makes the deuce point. Are there any unusual ones? Um, if we have six, four ourselves after the sequence, I think making the deuce or uh, going to the 14 running with the game plan of running is Pickham. Not much in it. Um, yeah, the important ones, all, the, all of them are really easy except 4-3 and 3-2, where the right idea is similar to what we looked at after 6-5. 6-5 is to bring two down. You especially don't want to step up once he's made a point. It's, you know, he's going to attack you in there. Um, and double six is really hard here. Um, you know, I've, I would probably play three down and one out naturally, but now after studying it, it's just four down by a long way. And all these double sixes actually are really hard uh, and they're all different and we have to go through them uh, one by one really. Um, but here it's massively right just to bring four down. I guess the idea is you don't want to step out when he's got the stronger ball that's not a particular rush, you're not really getting primed. Just hang back, wait to escape or concentrate on your side of the board attacking and priming. Uh, whereas some other double sixes, um, like we're going to have a look. So that was after six five six four. Make the deuce point. Um, okay, now the next ones. All the others played themselves. I think um, after six five six three, where he's going to play eighteen and ten. Uh, are there an interesting one? Um, 6-4, uh, obviously with the hitting's mandatory, uh, whether we come to the 9 or the 20 is pick em. Not a big deal whether to step up or come down with the 4. Uh, double 6, not so easy. Uh, sorry. Yeah, just double 6. Um, you know, it's not four down or three down and one out this time, but the double point kind of looks a bit ugly, but I guess you just target a cube uh, so quickly. In fact, say, for example, he fan, fans here. It's just, well, oh, sorry. So, six, um, no. Uh, sorry. So, say we roll double six, play it like this, and he... He fans, what do you reckon the cube action is now? It's got to be close to a double pass. Yeah, massive double pass. And see, so he comes in with one man, something like that. Only a small take, you see? Point zero two six. Easy take. It's going to be even easier. Okay, so after that, so that's one of the reasons you're just targeting such a strong cube. The second uh, you make the two points, it doesn't seem thematic, but it is. Um, so that was the double six. How would we play uh, double three here? What would you do here after six five six three split double three? Uh, and I think the bar is uh, pretty clear. I mean, don't think about hitting the checker on the outside. Uh, be a big blunder. You leave blots everywhere here. You, you unstack the mid. You make the point. You're already winning the race. Everything's good. Um, how about after six five six two, uh, six three, um, or well, the six we're hitting, and the three, the six four. It was after six two. After the 6-3 split, it was close, but with the 4, 
uh, here the four I think it's correct to um, to come up let's have a look if I remember it yeah 21 and 7 um, 6 2 so this is a marginal difference it's slightly right with the 6 2 not to step up but just to come down I guess you're much better off on the 21 than the 22 the advantage is it's quite big but here uh, with the 6 2 I think it's probably close let's have a look no it's not even close just two down you only get hit re hit by the 5 6 not with 6 3 if you if you split um, double five and four six uh, hit you as well um, yeah five four what would you do here I mean I would be tempted um, I think in the past to hit and, and, and come up or something but it's just wrong uh, running all the way is wrong even I don't think this is so easy to find but 20 and 8 is the right play guess it just plays with one blot and duplicates the sixes for him to hit an anchor um, yeah it's quite big so we've got this right uh, rather than just trying I guess if you run you're leaving ones threes six two double four it's 23 shots just too many something like that um, and I guess this is like a you know you play 20 and 8 you got you, the game's even um, like that any other player you're losing the game so I guess you've got the race lead there's no need to uh, well it's close race but anyway that's just the right play I don't think it's all the doubles are the same as after a 6-3 split um, so we're never hitting on the ace point after 6-5 followed by a 6-3 or a 6-2 um, just leave him alone it's not the idea we've run a man don't want to be hitting on the ace. So how about after six five we run and um, six one he makes a point. Uh, is there anything interesting? So we looked at these before actually. You make a point and run, didn't we? But it's the other way around. Uh, let's just go through them quickly. Um, Five two. Um, eight and twenty two. We step up to give ourselves air. It's a bit, a bit like after a, um, an opening six one. Not an opening, but just coming up is quite big because it, you know, rather, rather than down on stacking, we like to do that and only lose a six four. But here, once he's made the, the anchor, it's better to step up. Remember before we said one man back, you're not so keen to come up, but it's a bit different when he's made the the bar because 22 gives you a six to escape. Um, but the 4-3, uh, it's the same as before. We just bring two down, so many like so many of the other plays. It's just too risky to step up. Um, Yeah, for one, it's close here. I think um, I can't quite remember. Twenty-three and nine, or just coming to the eight is Pickham. We don't slot or anything like that. Um, yeah, like you can just bring one down, or you can come down and, and, and up. Uh, they're about the same. Three two, uh, two down, or either the splits or Pickham. Doesn't really matter what you do with the three two. Maybe you just want to come down. It's easier to remember, like the four three. Um, two one is quite difficult. Uh, know, let's just have a look at this three two. I think I think they would pick them. Yeah, two one. Um, what would you do with this one? It's right to play to the twenty three and eleven. This is a hard play, rather than just to the ten. I guess stepping up to the twenty three is. Better than being on the 24 because you freeze the builder on the 8 point a bit. 
um, and you also only get hit by 6-4 rather than 4-5 and 6-3, which don't do very much good for him on the other side. Um, yeah, I wonder how many people will get this right. But you don't slot or anything like that, like you would after the opening. 6-1, once you run a checker, play with one man back, don't risk another one. Um, so double six here. Uh, I think I made a huge blunder when I was looking through it and making the seven and the deuce, and it's right just to bring um, four down, play the priming game. Deuce points just useless, even though it leaves a... I thought because it leaves um, another checker on the spares on the mid, that's quite useful, part of the prime between the deuce and the seven point once you've broken your eight, but I guess it's a big swing when you get hit by two five and three four as well, and this is just, you're winning the game. Look at that, point three four four equity. Um, and back, like the double one, like before, it's pick them whether to make the rack with a seven and five, or go for that structure, or, or make the five and 22. Pick them. Um, yeah. Yeah, nothing in it. Okay, how about after a 5-4? So you roll 6-5. Opponent rolls 5-4. Uh, one of the interesting ones here. 6-4, um, do you make the deuce or run? Often it's right, wrong to run um, because you're leaving the flies as well, not just twos, but 4-5, 6-3 for 15 shots, which don't do a lot for him. Well, I guess the 4-5 is duped because you, you make the anchor. So I think it's right just to run slightly with the game plan um over making the deuce stripping the eight yeah clear uh, i mean the, the deuce point strips you everywhere it's just not not the game plan just run hope to get missed um how about the five three so you can run you can hit or you can make the point we'll just make the point it's a clean position so up the six four was horrible to to make the deuce point, but the 5-3 is part of the prime between the 8 and the 3, it's just a much better point, and, you know, I mean, I thought there was a small case for running with a 5-3, um, because you duplicate the 4s, um, and you're winning the race, but you're only 10 pips up, he's on roll, he hits you with any other 4 to come back, forget the duplication, just make the point. Bird in the hand, uh, as they say, um, how about 4-3? I think the 4-3 and the 4-1 are the same. Um, hitting down or double hit? Let's pick them for both the 4-3 and 4-3-1. We don't step up. Like we said, that would give them a good 1-3 and three entry from the bar. and You don't need to step up with one man back. You want to come out cleanly. So yeah, whether you double hit or hit and come down... Uh, like that is pick em. and the same goes when you roll uh, a 4-1. Um, a 3-2, uh, the 11 and 5 is clear, uh, to hit on the 5 and bring your checker down, that's easy. Double 6, so this time I think we just bring 4 down again, um, yeah, this time it's clear. Double 5, um, I mean, I was thinking three down and one out, um, but it's better just to to bring four down again. We'll see when three down and one one out's right in a minute. Um, I think the double five um, is a well-known position uh, to make the eight and the um, the one point, leaving no blots, consolidating a race lead. Not the uh, three and one, um, yeah, by a lot. I mean, three and one would be a point oh six. It's almost a blunder, a triple error. Even that's better. But it's, this is looks ugly, but it's just thematic. Maybe he doesn't come in. Maybe he comes in on the five. You can skip over him with a huge race lead of twenty three pips. Uh, I think that's just a well known position. Don't really have to talk about that. Um, double one. Seven and one, seven and five is uh, marginal. In my style, unless there's a match score, I always make the seven and five with all those pick and ones. I just prefer it. And here it's right, so that's just very small. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so just keeping going on the theme, 6553, he makes the... Uh, um, He makes a three point. Um, what would you do with a six four here? Would you run or make the deuce? Um, what do you think? Running's thematic. Um, but with a five four, we bring two down. I guess that you just don't want to be making the deuce. Um, but 5-4 also gives him a good 2-1 as well, you know, threes. So we just bring two down. It does some something more constructive than 6-4. Making the deuce, it unloads the, um, the mid. Even though we, we do want to escape, we wait for a better day. Uh, double six. So this time... Three down and one out is clear. Whereas four, we were bringing all four out. At one time we made the seven and the one. So these ones you kind of have to know. Um, yeah, big error not to bring one out. I guess the threat of the three points not so bad to get hit. But you just have to know this. Remember, if you rolled a 4-2, uh, we bring 4 down. Um, so I guess maybe because you're... Uh,